HVAC with Stephen Rarden is sponsored by True Tech Tools. Quality tools, essential support. TrueTechTools.com. What's up, YouTube? We've got a uh, train rooftop with a gas valve that doesn't want to fire. It's a two stage gas valve and um, it's getting power to the first stage and I didn't bother checking second stage but uh, no gas pressure coming through the valve but it does have gas I disconnected this uh, union and was able to get it to blow gas through but um, we're going to take it apart and see what we can find as far as problems. If not, we'll go ahead and replace the valve. It's going to be a little bit of a pain in the butt simply for the fact that it's tight to the ground there. Got to get this gas line loose and all that mess. So, I'm going to start by clipping off the. Well, I just talked to myself thinking I was talking to you as I took this gas valve apart. I don't know where it cut off, but um, basically decided that the gas valve is, the old valve is stuck or dead or plugged, and we're going to replace it with the new valve. All right, got a fresh battery. So, we're going to pipe this in and make sure that it that it runs. Now it looks like it should be lined up. And that looks like it should work. I didn't have to mark it because these spade connectors are only sized to fit one place so I could have gone without marking it but better safe than sorry right it always sucks trying to line up threads when you can't really see where you're at there we go got it that should do it. Okay. There we go. I'm going to get set up to check the gas pressure and I'll be back in a minute. Here comes a moment of truth. And we have fire. Gas pressure for first stage is rated at 1.8 inches. We're at 1.76. I just started up the Testo 330i and it's actually zeroing while in the vent pipe. Which is something that a lot of other analyzers can't do. I'm going to let it run for a little bit, get our first stage numbers, and then we'll uh, bump it up to second stage. The system has not been in heat for a while, not 100% sure how long, but the uh, people that are in the store 
mentioned that it hadn't run in a while. Got the DL429 taking my flame signal. We're at 5.9 microamps. So far, my numbers are 12.4 oxygen, 4.77 CO2, and 129% excess air. 14 CO ppm. It would be really nice to be able to clock the meter on this unit, but uh, being that it's a restaurant, they've got grills and stuff running, and uh, there's no way I can ask them to shut down their grills so I can isolate the uh, one system to be able to clock the meter. All right, we're going to go ahead and add those numbers as they are to the report. Let that continue to run while we hit second stage. We got 3.4 inches and we're rated at 3.5 inches for second stage. My excess air has fallen. It's at 49.7 right now. O2 is 7.4. CO2 is 7.6. So really not doing too bad. I'm taking return air temperature from the inlet side of the evaporator coil over here and supply air. I'm over here. Somebody had drilled a hole in it already and put a little rubber grommet in it. Of course I go dropping it. Um, I'm not a hundred percent sure that that's the greatest place to take a supply side heat temperature because the heat exchanger is kind of low and it's a downdraft obviously but um, the system is rated to run 20 to 50 degree temperature split and right now we're at right at 15 degrees but I'm not going to trust that number too much I'm also not going to bother going down to the ceiling to get a number over there. So as it runs right now, we're at 6% O2, 8.18% CO2, and excess air is pretty low. So I'm actually going to drop my high stage down a little bit from the 3.4, take it to like 3.2. See if we can get that excess air up a little bit. My biggest pet peeve with all these digital manometers is that they walk. This one's only gained three one hundredths or negative three one hundredths. But uh, sometimes if you have them connected for a while, they can lose quite a bit or gain quite a bit. All right, so excess air is at 45% roughly. My temperature split is showing 18 degrees and uh, I don't think I'm willing to make any further adjustment at this point. I don't believe that the temperature split is only 18 degrees and it's heating where it wasn't heating before so we're going to let it ride as it is. Just for those that are curious, we're working on a YCH or YHC-102 F3RMA-08 Anyway, that's where we're at guys Thanks for watching Like, subscribe, comment, and share And we'll see you on the next video Check out iBleedR22.com My new HVACR forum And my website at www.hvacwithstevenreardon.com Don't forget, you can use coupon code RARVID and get $10 off your purchase at truetechtools.com or the coupon code RARIDVM for $10 off your IDVM 510 meter. Thanks to the 100 Watt Vipers for allowing me to use their music also. You can search for my Facebook group at HVAC with Stephen Reardon or follow me on Twitter at Juvenile77. Thanks for watching.
troubles on you. 